Welcome class. Today we will be learning how to commit tax fraud. I mean learning about um, adrenoleukodystrophy. Adrenoleukodystrophy is a rare genetic disorder that affects the nervous system and adrenal glands. It is an X chromosome disorder, meaning it primarily affects males. Abbreviation, ALD, can also be called X-linked adrenoleukodystrophy. Uh, Adrenoleukodystrophy, ALD, was discovered by Dr. Siemerling and Dr. Kreutzfeldt in 1923 by medical observations. The name adrenoleukodystrophy is to show that it is about the adrenal glands and the deterioration of white matter in the brain. ALD is caused by mutations in the ABCD1 gene, which produces a protein called ALDP. ALDP is used to break down and transport fatty acids. VLCFAs into the peroxisomes, which are cells that help with in lipid metabolism. In ALD, the defective ABCD1 gene leads to the buildup of VLCFAs in different tissues, usually in the brain and adrenal glands. The buildup of VLCFAs causes damage to the myelin sheath, which is the protective covering of nerve cells in the brain. This leads to progressive demyelination. Demyelination is a loss of myelin. Symptoms of ALD are behavior changes, bad eye-hand coordination, muscle loss, loss of senses, and the brain being less good at knowing stuff. ALD can lead to a severe form called cerebral ALD, which causes neurological deterioration. The quality of life for people with ALD can be bad depending on the stage. Life expectancy varies because on the form and progression of ALD, with cerebral ALD people have a shorter life expectancy. We don't really know how many people in the world have it. ALD affects 1 in 17,000 to 1 in 50,000 males. ALD is not only in one demographic, ALD is inherited through the ABCD1 gene. Risk of ALD is from inheritance. If your dad has it, you might have it. ALD is not connected to a certain age. ALD is an X-linked recessive disorder. It is caused by mutations in the ABCD1 gene. The ABCD1 gene is located on the X chromosome. The disorder is inherited by sex. The gene mutation leads to the not enough breaking down of fatty acids. Fatty acid buildup happens in the brain and adrenal glands. I know you guys are being filled with information and want a break, but guess what? You are not getting one. So, continuing on with the lecture series, ALD comes in three different forms which are childhood cerebral ALD, the most common and severe form, adrenomyeloneuropathy, milder form, and adrenal insufficiency, Addison's disease. Childhood cerebral ALD typically happens between 4-10 years old with symptoms like behavioral changes, learning struggles, and neurological deterioration. ALD can be diagnosed through a clinical evaluation or family history or tests. Genetic testing can find mutations in the ABCD1 gene. Brain imaging, like an MRI, can show changes in the white matter of the brain. This test is done after birth. I will now invite my good friend Obama to help with this slide. Thank you. We all know my Obamacare was a massive success, so we had to bring me on for the treatment option slide. As for the cure for ALD, there is none. So if you have it, good luck. There are still treatment options though, right? Yes. If you find it early and treat it, then it can help manage symptoms and push back the time of your death. Hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, HSCT, is good for stopping the progression of cerebral ALD if done early enough. Diet, such as restricting VLCFAs, could also be good. Obama, what are you doing with this buffoon? You said you would hop on Fortnite in five minutes three hours ago. Sorry, Donnie, I was busy teaching about adrenaleukodystrophy. I don't care. Let's start a game before Joe tries to join. Agreed. Well, off they go. Don't mind this slide. Didn't mean for it to be there. Just act like you never saw it. One foundation researching ALD is the Global Leukodystrophy Initiative. They help research and potentially find a cure in the future. The Johnson family were sad to see that their son, Ethan, got diagnosed with ALD. They were relying on their faith and the support of their community to help them through the journey together. They found strength and discovered blessings even in the difficulties. Adrenoleukodystrophy is a rare genetic disorder that affects the nervous system and adrenal glands. It is caused by mutations in the ABCD1 gene, which leads to the buildup of VLCFAs and demyelination. 
early diagnosis, supportive care, and treatment options like HSCT can help outcomes for people with ALD. We need more research to find more effective therapies for the condition. And that's it for today's lecture series, guys. You guys can go ahead and get back to studying for the next test. Hey, Mr. Babcock, where did Trump and Obama go?